Aloha Leo, so it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your monthly reading for May 2019. So today we are going to get your theme for this month so that I've got that card already chosen. We are also going to draw three more cards from my regular deck to get a little bit more guidance for you about what's happening this month. And then we're going to be focusing on your finances using the Archangel Oracle deck. And that will give you a little bit more information about what's happening with your finances, what can you do to improve them, how can you get in the flow, that type of thing. And then lastly, I've got an extra little card from Archangel Raphael who is coming in with a message for your health. This could be related to your physical, mental, emotional, and or spiritual health. So we've got that message that we will look at at the very, very end. Before we get started, I just want to share a couple things with you that I've got going on. So as many of you know, uh, it was Earth Day uh, just a week ago or so, um, depending on when you're watching this, of course. And so I was guided to do a little special for angel readings for Earth Day. And this is just for one hour readings. You can save $22 with the coupon code EARTH. Or if you want to purchase gift certificates, you can use the coupon code EARTH1. And all of the links for all of that are below. And that's going to be just good through May 15th. So after May 15th, that code won't work. Uh, but you can schedule any time, you know, you can schedule the appointment beyond as long as you do it by May 15th. So that's one thing that I've got going on. I'm also going to be offering some new soul GPS sessions. And this is going to be kind of a map for you for your life purpose for where you're going next and if that's something that you're interested in reach out to me and we can chat about whether that's a good fit it's a really great place to start with me if you've never had a reading or worked with me in any way it's really really a great place to start with that soul GPS session so let's go ahead and get started with your reading Leo's so your theme for today, um, for this month actually of May, is the King of Air. Air cards are all about the head, about the intellect, kind of I like to say what's going on upstairs. And this is reminding you of the importance of speaking your truth. So I can feel some of you have a, some clogginess in your throat, maybe your throat chakra isn't fully open. And this is a reminder that it's important for you to speak your truth. This is a, it really going to help you navigate the month. And letting go of attachment to how people respond to that is really, really important as well. Right? It's just the act of speaking your truth lets the universe, uh, God, the angels, everyone know what it is, what is your truth so that it can come back to you in positive ways. And then this is also, again, about balance, right? So balancing mental and emotional considerations. Like uh, we don't want to ever be just too much in our head or too much in our emotions. It, we really want to balance those things out. So this is a reminder about that for you this month as well. And it would be a really great month to get some help. It would be a great month to get um, seek some professional advice, is essentially what the card says, which is, you know, who you're guided to. Go, uh, you know, schedule a session with whomever you might be guided to that can help you. I know as some of the things people experience with me, and this is uh, something that you may experience with whomever you are guided to see, is just a sense of calm, a sense of peace, like feeling like, oh yeah, I actually am on the right path, and I am actually making progress in my life, right? So those are um, good feelings to have, and a mentor or someone um, in the professional realm can help you with that. Let's see what else we've got going on for you guys. Whoops, <laughs> kind of got caught there. Caught 
What's up? Alright. So we've got a change card that's coming in for you, as well as a, a water card and an earth card. So the change card is Archangel Gabriel. And when Gabrielle comes in, and you can see if you look at this card, she's upside down in this card. This is the awakening card, and it is about seeing things in a new perspective, in a new way. And I think we all need that, right? We all um, just uh, need to see things from a fresh perspective at different times in our life. And this awakening card is asking you to look at whatever issue or challenges that you have this month from a different perspective. So, and that I think is something that we can do always because the the solution to a problem is not in the energy of the problem. It's, it's in a different energy, right? And so it's hard to find the solution when we're focused so much on the problem. So this is a reminder to open up. And also, you know, again, it's sort of that hanging you know, hanging still. I think of like the bats when they're sleeping, right? They're just hanging upside down. They're not moving. That's also the energy of this card is sort of that stagnancy. And I don't even want to call it stagnancy because it's actually a good thing to be still. Oftentimes when we are in that place of being the observer, we're actually able to get a better view of what is happening than when we're constantly go, go, going, or we're just really in the thick of things. So I think pulling yourself outside of the picture and looking at it from a different perspective is gonna help you. We also have the Queen of Water coming in for you this month. Water cards are about the depth of emotion. Um, this Queen of Water, I'll show you the card there. This Queen of Water is, uh, you know, I always love the water energy because we do, it is important for us to actually feel our emotions. And this particular water card is about relationships getting stronger or, you know, with the water analogy, deepening, right? So relationships deepening. And um, you've got to trust your intuition. So this is the other piece of this is trusting what you're getting, trusting the guidance that you're receiving, um, being yourself. So don't pretend to be someone else just to make so someone else happy or don't pretend to be something that you're not to make someone else happy. That's never going to work in the long run, okay? Be who you are. No one can do you the way that you can. So be you. And then we have the eight of earth coming in. I love the eight card. Um, eight is, of course, in numerology relates to abundance. The earth card also does relate to money and how you make your money, what you need to do to be grounded here on earth. This particular card is about knowledge and it is about going back to school. Uh, so the energy around this is learning something new. You can see there's, you know, the books there, right? This is the energy of learning something new that's going to assist you in that, um, that money energy. And it's going to be something you're interested in. So it's not like it's something that you're like, have to do. This is actually going to be something that you're going to be really compelled uh, to do. Things that you're, you really do want to learn about or know about. So it's a fun learning. Next, we're going to be looking at your finances, and we're using the Archangel Oracle card. So there's going to be some angels that are coming in for you to assist you with your finances in the month of May. So what does Leo need to know? What do the Leos need to know about their finances this month? That's what we're asking. Okay, 
First of all, we've got the Clairsentience card coming in. This is Archangel Raguel. And this card is, you know, you can see the heart shining there. So it definitely has to do with heart opening. Clairsentience is about the feeling. So you're getting messages through your emotions. Um, this is a way that your angels and your spirit guides communicate with you. So you are getting messages that way. So noticing how you feel, noticing the physical uh, things that are happening in your body. Do you have a pain in your thumb? Do you, um, you know, is there something going on with your right foot? Um, do you have a lot of tension in your neck? You know, these are all messages for you too. I had a client the other day that uh, I was working with and we did some emotions processing and what was coming up is she had this significant pain in her shoulder, right? And what came through is that she was really shouldering a lot of responsibility from when she was young. And so she was carrying that now into her adulthood or was coming up for her uh, at this particular time. And so we were able to work through that. And amazingly, when we were done with working through the emotions, the pain was gone. So once you get the message, often that pain will just disappear for you. So just be aware that if you have physical pain in your body, that there is a link to uh, something that you need to know. The next card that we have is with Archangel Raphael and it's Angel Therapy. This is a, a great card because it's such a reminder that the angels are there for you. They love to take your worries and your fears and anything that's bothering you. They love to take that and transmute it into pure positive love and light. So ask them. I love to picture a little basket, right, um, before I go to sleep and I just put all my worries and fears into the basket and I just give it to the angels. I'm like, here you go guys, you take care of this. Or when there's something that comes up in my life or business that I'm just struggling with, sometimes I'll get to a point where I'm just like, enough. You guys just need to take care of this, right? And it's so funny, like, why do I wait till that point? Why don't we ask right away for assistance? So that's kind of what they're nudging you to do is ask for help right away. Give your worries and cares to the angels. And then we have crystal clear intentions. Good old Archangel Michael. And this is about being super clear about what it is that you want. So I'm going to kind of go back uh, around these to share what, um, how this relates to your finances, because that's what we were, were using these cards for, was your finances and what you need to know about that. So any financial fears that you have or worries, give them to the angels. But also pay attention to your physical body, your emotions, because those are giving you messages related to your finances, all right? So that's how those weave in there. And then having crystal clear intentions, being super clear about what it is that you need and what it is that you want to attract in. Uh, with finances. So we oftentimes, I think, sell ourselves short because we, you know, we ask for what we think we can um, get or what we think we might deserve rather than what we truly need. So Archangel Michael just really wants you to be super clear about what it is that you need and want. Uh, and that is, and, and really focus on that, right? Have that be your sole focus. Let go of the worries and fears and just solely focus on, with unwavering faith, as he says, on what you want, what you desire, what you're wanting to draw in. And then lastly, we've got a little message from Archangel Raphael. And again, these cards are related to Spiritual, mental, emotional, could be physical health as well. Uh, this particular message for you is do more research. So whatever it is that's coming up for you related to your health, and again, it could be physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional, whatever is coming up, you've got to do a little bit more research, which is in interesting because 
maybe there's some connection there with going back to school maybe whatever you're dealing with in your health you are actually going to go back to school and learn something to be able to heal yourself and then potentially heal others as well so that's a really cool message coming in for you and i do feel like he's also nudging you to get outside that being out in nature is really helpful for your health it gives us a, a broader perspective, obviously fresh air, it helps us get grounded. There's so much balance in nature. We talk about that a lot in feng shui, and that's one of the things that we're gonna be focusing on during my retreat is this, the elements and how to balance them within yourself as well as within your environment so if that's something that you're interested in my retreat is going to be in november here on maui and i do still have some spaces but the early bird special ends very very soon so if it's something that you're interested in it certainly reach out to me as soon as you can and we will chat about that for now Relax, have fun, and enjoy the rest of your month. What I would love for you to do right now is head on over to my website, findingyourfiji.com. Fiji is spelled F-I-J-I, and you can grab your free gift over there. That is my nine fast feng shui fixes to attract abundance. These are my nine best tips related to the wealth area. And this will also allow us to stay in touch. I'd really like to stay in touch with you, get to know you, and that allows me to understand how I may continue to serve you. So we'll see you on the next video. Have an amazing, amazing day. Much love and aloha.